Hello students, myself Rupali Nanekar. I am from the Department of Biotechnology. Welcome to the online platform where we are going to study different kind of concepts related to environmental biotechnology. So let's start today's lecture with bioremediation. As you can see on the screen, bioremediation. Now what is bioremediation? Before jumping to the topic of bioremediation, let me explain you certain kind of pollutions which are present in the environment. Like we have air pollution, we have water pollution, we have soil pollution and we have land pollution as well as groundwater pollutions. For remediating this pollution, we have different kind of techniques like physical, chemical and biological. One of the technique which will help us to solve the problem in eco safely way and try to have a reduced cost remediation is by remediation. Let's come to the next part that is remediation definition. I always tell my students that let's break up the bigger word into the smaller part and then understand that what is the meaning of that word. On your screen you can see that bioremediation. It is a combination of two words. What are these two words? Bio and remediation. Bio means anything which is going to be a living and remediation means it is going to solve the problem. So when we try to combine these two words, we get a topic that is bioremediation. That means when we are using or utilizing the biological organisms to solve the environmental problem, we like environmental problem consisting of your groundwater, if you talk about the soil sample, if you talk about the oceans and lot of things. That time where we utilize the living system, that has been defined as bioremediation. Let's move on to the next part. Now onto your screen you can see a diagram where I have given plants, you have fungus and you have bacteria. Let's see one by one how they are being utilized. If I talk basically about the bacteria, bacterial bioremediation is where we are using microorganisms. Other than that in the environment we also have important plants which are being present. Not the normal plants. If you will ask, can a rose try to degrade the pollutant? No, they cannot degrade the pollutant. This kind of plant should has a bioconversion factor, should be more than 20 and this kind of plants can be utilized as a part called as phytoremediation. Other than that, we also have fungus category. Yes, fungus, mycoremediation. This kind of remediation as you call it as mycoremediation where we try to use fungus, mushrooms due to their hyphal extension. These are very importantly tried to use for a heavy metal contamination. You can use it as for your hydrocarbon contamination and all. Coming to the next part. What are the two important remediation methods which can initiate the bioremediation? The very first part is your bioaugmentation. For example, in your nearby area, your uh, particular uh, area has been contaminated with different kinds. Like for example, if you have an oil spill in your area of a ground, how you are going to remediate that? But the microorganisms surviving in that area will not able to degrade that pollutant. At that time, what is the question? How you are supposed to remediate that? That can be done with the help of bio -agumentation. That means we are going to have a genetically encoded bacteria which could be prepared, which could be tried to modify at the lab scale and then this particular bacteria will be trying to add at the site of contaminant. That is they are going to degrade the toxic pollutant into lesser harmful one. That is called as bio -agumentation. If you talk about the second topic that is called as biostimulation. From the word only you might be saying that it is going to stimulate something. What do you mean by stimulation? We are accelerating them. For example, again I will give an example. In your nearby area, you have an oil spill. You already have a microorganism present over there. That microorganisms require some extra kind of energy to treat that pollutant. So for that, what you are supposed to do is you need to use the injection of necessary nutrients to stimulate their product, stimulate their degradation so that the growth of indigenous microorganism, that means they are native, they are staying there. You are providing them extra nutrients, you are providing them aeration and this way they try to degrade the pollutant out of this. So this is what is two methods which are very important to initiate the bioremediation at the site of contamination. Let's come to the next part. You see on your screen you can see a diagram. 
this is what is the area which has been contaminated with the heavy metal we want to treat this area you will ask whether it is going to be treated in one week no it requires certain time to be acted on this kind of polluted area i'll show you a second image now see these people are working at the coastal areas coastal areas have recent recently we have seen that indian osho have been also heated with the crude oil spills which are been taking place so there are physical way there are chemical way but we also have biological way which is a cost effective as well as it is an eco friendly way to remove the crude oil present at the site of sea shores so this is what is the site where you need to act for the bioremediation process coming to the next part I'll explain you an example how this bacteria is acting on that. You can see two bacteria sitting on that. The first diagram, what is going to happen? They are going to take this oil, they are going to utilize them, and they are going to get energy out of them. This energy is very important for their survival. To survive in that environment, survival of fittest. If it is pollutant, they want to survive, they need to utilize this pollutant. similar way the selected microbial culture now we need why the word i have used selected selected because this kind of microorganisms require certain kind of enzyme certain kind of genes which are able to degrade this kind of pollutant now this bacteria will start eating this crude oil digesting them into their stomach and now releasing them into by products now what are the by products students by products could be anything it could be oxygen it could be part of carbon dioxide it could be the lesser harmful products it could be the lesser harmful products so this is one of the classic example i can give you that how bioremediation is occurring with the help of crude oil next thing directly we can start the bioremediation no we should have lot of site management if i ask you go and start the bioremediation no that cannot be started at that particular time you have to have four different kind of preliminary assessment of that remediation site to start that process very first thing is primary go and identify that area what is that area what kind of bacteria does it have what kind of condition whether it is a uh, whether it is having a very hot kind of condition whether it is having a very cold condition what kind of bacteria you are going to select this all kind of factors are need to be analyzed and then and then only you can go with the selection round of that polluted areas so today we try to understand the concept of bioremediation in the next part we will study that how bioremediation in the detail is going to degrade the pollutant are there any kind of mechanism by the bacteria or uh, which is acting on them which are going to degrade them yes for sure there are different kind of pathways which are playing an important role to it so in today's concept if you put a glance on the topic students we have covered the part of bioremediation definition what is the actual part how it has been solved we are using bacteria for them followed by that you have different time of the plants phytoremediation bacteria bioremediation mycoremediation by the fungus other than that we have different kind of two important methods in next time we have to remember this two important bioagumentation and biostimulation where you can apply this you can apply on the different areas which has been contaminated with the pesticides which is contaminated with the hydrocarbons which could be contaminated with the heavy metals also but students it is requiring some time there are certain factors who are going to affect them this all we are going to study in the next part i hope so you have understood a beautiful topic which is very important for our sustainability and future of the remediation of the earth itself so thank you so much we will meet in the next part